tipsy Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you twerk it shawty Throwing money on her own I call it independent shawty What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7. So if you guys tuned in the last episode, you guys know I did unlock an achievement, and I was scouring, trying to find this car, and I found it. I just had to go accept it. So we are staring down that Forza Edition Mazda MX-5 wide body with that nasty big spoiler like my Camaro. So today, we are here today to do a full drift build on this car. This is a car I've been wanting to get to do a drift build on. So we're going to see if we can't get this short wheelbase, light little rocket ship sideways and uh, have a little fun. So we're going to hop right into it. We're going to get the tuning on this car going. I have not touched it yet, so we are going to go and take a look at what we're running with. I believe we are probably running a stock motor. We are, we may switch it up. We may do a four rotor, I'm not sure. Um, as for aspiration, I think we're just gonna straight up, we're gonna turbo it to start. And uh, we're gonna go from there. We're gonna leave, I believe. Oh, we can go sport. So it's on stock, sport and race. So we can go sport tires. We are going to do sport tires on this car. And we're going to keep 245s in the front and 255s in the rear. Uh, we definitely got to change those wheels. Not a, not a huge fan of those big spoked wheels. I am feeling some uh, 1552s though. So we're going to go with those concave 1552s. I think we are going to stick with the 18 inch wheels that are on the car. I hope this car gets uh, low enough to where it's decently, you know, dropped. We're gonna throw all transmission, drivetrain, everything on. As well as a diff. Nope, we don't want that diff, we want that diff. There we go. And then we are gonna go into suspension uh, we're gonna keep the sway bars off. We're gonna put a roll cage in it. We are at 2,100 pounds. I believe we're gonna leave that weight there. And now to add power. I believe it's already on race suspension, so we should be okay. We see how much power we can get out of this turbo stock motor. Like I said, we may be switching to a four rotor depending on how this thing drives. Definitely uh, intrigued with the short wheelbase. Haven't drifted many Miatas. My friend who ate my hamster has drifted a lot of them, and uh, he's pretty good with it. So we're going to see how this little MX-5 wide body does. And now we're back down to 2,000 pounds. This thing is light for sure. So we're at 603 horsepower and not a lot of power, but... Like I said, we are gonna probably just see how this goes first, and then we will modify it from there. All right, so now let's uh, see if we can't find a pretty interesting paint job for this car. I was hoping we could have a you know Mad Mike with that. Uh, we do have one, but I do not believe that is his new car. That's just a Mazda race cup car. So we're going to see maybe if we can find a formula drift. Let's see. Let's do formula D. Any paints got? Nope. Nope. None. All right. So let's do one last search. We'll just do drift. And if not, maybe we'll just, uh, what am I spelling? Maybe we'll just leave it how it is. And just rip it because, you know, it may not handle as well as I'd hoped. But we will see. I'm determined to try to get this thing going sideways. It looks pretty nasty. And uh, hopefully we can get it lowered enough to make it look good. So I think we're just going to go with a basic... Um, just gonna do a basic paint on this car. I mean, we only have red manufacturers. I kind of feeling a little bit of a blue though, so we're gonna drop. Eh, you know what? We'll just leave it red, and uh, 
we'll just throw on some white wheels just, you know, for the haters. Because white wheels on a red car. But I do like white wheels. They are a pretty sweet additive. Ryan Turk is rocking the new white wheels on his car this year. And his car is red, so, you know, haters going to hate. So let's kick into tuning this. And we're going to start off by dropping the tire pressures. We'll do a basic tune on it. Then we will send it to the track and uh, see how it goes. This thing has already got a lot of camber in here. Drop that down a little bit. And then we are going to have to see how this thing handles. Not sure what track I want to send this to yet. But we are definitely going to send it. Yeah, that thing's high. Drop this. Make it nice and soft. I Hopefully that drops it enough to make it look halfway decent because right now it's uh it's pretty monster truck so we're gonna leave that all there we're gonna drop our braking down not that much and then we're gonna kick our diff up and go with that all right so it's a little bit lower not as low as i would like it to be there's still a bit of a fender gap, but uh, we'll go with it and we'll uh, see how it runs. We are not going to run at there. We're actually going to run drift. And I have not drifted at Maple Valley in a few. So I feel like we're going to hit Maple Valley circuit and see if we can get this thing sideways here at Maple Valley. So if you guys have this MX-5 and you guys have built it for a drift tune, let me know. If not, maybe you guys are uh, don't have it, but I did get it in the Forza on, so make sure you guys get it yourselves. Um, it does look pretty aggressive, though. I mean, hopefully I don't like this car more than I like my Camaro. I'm going to be switching cars up real quick before round one of ESDA. But, you know, we will see. So we're going to get the wheel cam turned on. We got our G920 all set up with our energy wheel, and uh, we're just going to go straight into it. It is kind of cool, it being a convertible. I wish it was a full cage, but... So, stock turbo motor. Let's see how this thing goes. Sounds pretty sweet. I don't think it has the power, though, for this. Uh, handling on it's pretty well, though. Uh, yeah, I think the power is definitely not there as we completely just wrecked our brand new car. The power is not there for the sweeper as much with the sticky tires. But, oh man, this thing handles very well. It has some pretty decent lock. We're, I definitely can feel some changes that we're gonna have to make on this car. And uh, yeah, I can definitely tell some changes that are, I need to make in suspension but uh first impression of the car though sounds sick looks sick I like that little flutter there we go I was hoping I hold that in there but I held the handbrake too long yep so I definitely feel I need to ch make some changes to the suspension a little bit. But it's close. It's definitely close. So we're going to go make those changes before we are make a complete fool of ourselves with this car. And um, so we're going to go into tuning. We're going to tune this a little bit. I think we're going to... Leaf tire pressure, gearing. We're gonna go for a little bit more speed. Alignment, we're gonna knock this down. We're gonna knock this up a little bit. And knock that as well. And then I think we're gonna pop this one up a little bit to give it there. And I think that's the mile adjustments we're gonna make. I think we're gonna change tracks though. Um, let's see. Where should we go?
go to Magello, go to Prague, go to Rio. Um, we're gonna go to Lime Rock. We're gonna run it at Lime Rock real quick. Was not sure where I really felt like running this, but we're gonna run it at Lime Rock. We may end up throwing this at Long Beach to final this off to uh, see how it does at a Long Beach run. But uh, this little Miata's uh, definitely got some uh, got some pep in its step. But I think at Quad Rotor might make it a little bit faster. So. We may switch to a quad rotor after this run, but I do like how this so how this sounds with that little flutter. And those Y tires are sticking out. Let's see if the changes we made work. Yep, that does feel a lot better now. Oh, until you hit the grass like that. So, short wheelbase, definitely something I gotta get used to. Cause uh, I'm used to long wheelbase cars, and this car is also super light, so it's making this a little bit snappy on transitions. And it's not how I want it to be. So we're gonna make a couple more adjustments. I think we may have made it a little bit worse. So we're gonna tune this again. Going to leave the tires, leave the gearing, bump that up, bump that back down, and we're actually gonna bump that down a little bit. And we will give this one more go before we maybe swap motors. It might be the motor, it might be the weight distribution in this car is a little bit off for my style of driving. It might be good for you know somebody else's style of driving, but Mine's a little bit different, I guess, for this car, so. There we go, that's a little better. Yeah, it's very snappy with the short wheelbase, but it's definitely a lot of fun. It is kind of cool to see it as a convertible, though. You'll see the driver. So this car is actually a lot of fun to drive. If you don't have one, I would uh, definitely recommend getting one. It sounds amazing. Which we will probably lose that sound once we go quad rotor. But we're gonna try drifting this thing in first person right now. I was actually uh, trying to get to a different view, but we're just gonna run it out here. So the short wheelbase, definitely a challenge to drive. Uh, I haven't really messed with really short wheelbase cars before, so this is a, a new thing for me. And uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to. That's definitely uh, something to be said. It takes a little bit of getting used to the short wheelbase, and that's really bumpy. Too wide. I just love that flutter sound. It sounds so good. And I think we're gonna change it to a quad rotor and make it sound a lot worse. But maybe it'll sound even better. We're not sure yet. So we're gonna go upgrade this. We are gonna swap the motor to that quad rotor race motor. It's up to 26 or 2166. So I believe we do lose our turbo. And we just have 736 horsepower. Straight quad rotor race motor. Um we're gonna leave all the other tunings the same. And we're just gonna send it. This Miata is definitely uh oh it's an angry V now. And all it does is crackle. All right, so definitely a different sound, but the V 
feel of throttle response is pretty nice. The guy that was following me in the last episode was running a quad rotor in his FD. Okay, so... I may like this thing in a quad rotor. Um... Not gonna lie. I think the weight bias has changed a little bit. And, uh... The smoothness of the revving and the lack of turbo lag is... I think more my style. That's why I'm running the Camaro because I like the straight V8 and power on command. And this is a uh, pretty power on command. But it is still very twitchy. I think a some more fine tuning with this car would be Pretty, uh, pretty awesome, actually. Give him another run here. There we go. Too much, but we saved our points, though. And, uh, right back in the drift, so... Quad rotor is definitely uh, pretty awesome in this little MX-5. It sounds uh, very angry. It's got a lot of cracking, but it is definitely a lot of fun. A little clutch kick, some manjis. So. I think, I think I may have to spend a little bit more time on this car to get the suspension dialed perfectly, but right now it handles pretty, pretty well. It's definitely a fun little car to drive, um, especially because I'm not used to that style with the short wheelbase. But uh, I think we are going to head to Long Beach to give it a quick FD run because, uh, you know, FD uh, starts tomorrow. Qualifying starts tomorrow at Long Beach. I believe it starts at 4 o'clock Eastern time. Starts qualifying tomorrow on, uh, you know, the FD Live. So I believe that is actually 1 o'clock their time, I believe. So we're going to run this. One or two laps here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little... Uh, trial into these short wheel pace drift cars i was super excited when i found this car and i wanted to do something with it i may mess around with it some more and uh maybe make a full you know very well tuned when i spend some more time on this car but this car it looks amazing i i'm glad to see this little uh wide body mx5 in the game And I'm uh, excited to see some of the other Kyle Moam bringing his MX-5 back in FD this year. I believe Matt Mike Wadette as well is coming back. And uh, excited to hear those uh, rotaries screaming around the streets of Long Beach echoing. So I wish we could turbo this car though. When we could make a Matt Mike with that build, but we can't. So we're gonna run this. 50 roll. The echo off the wall. There we go. That was not expecting to snap that hard right there. So we're gonna rerun that, but this, uh, this thing sounds mean. It's a lot of fun to drive. If there are some uh, guys out there that got some good Miata tunes that are subscribed to the channel, let me know your gamer tag. If you got the tune up, I'd be very, very intrigued to try some uh, Miata tunes. I may look and see if there's a tune for this car and see, you know, what it drives like and see if I can't get my own tune to feel as good as, say, a tune that is downloaded that feels very well. So we're gonna give this another go. The entry wasn't bad. The echo under that bridge. 
So you guys know you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. As always, you know guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I do appreciate all the support. Yep. There's some needs some fine tuning done to this car. So until next time guys, I'm Evil Rabbit. And I'm out.